Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today I want to go over diagnosis and doctors diagnosing bug bites. By the way, this is a Myth May episode. I do an episode every day for the month of May 2019. I go over myths of myth, meth, I don't think so, <laughs> myths of pest control. So this is a pretty big one. A lot of people I hear, uh, I go to people's houses and, and they'll tell me, they'll say, well, you know, my doctor said that I had a black widow bite or my doctor said I had a brown recluse bite or my doctor says I've got bed bugs or my doctor says I've got whatever, you know, because you're getting bit by a bug and the doctor is diagnosing bug bites. Uh, I want to set the record straight. Doctors cannot diagnose a, bed, a, a bug bite. It's not really possible for me to diagnose a bug bite. Uh, they don't know what bit you. Now, there are instances where if there was a venom bite, something like that, or if you saved a bug in a bag, then it would be easier to diagnose what actually bit you. Um, but the problem is, with bug bites, especially things like mosquitoes and uh, bed bugs and fleas and... You know, unless it's lice and you can find the lice, it's p practically impossible because every single person has a different reaction. Now, what happens when a bug bites you? Uh, let's say you're sitting out on the porch and a mosquito comes in and it bites you on the arm. And usually within 10 minutes or so, you've got a little swollen spot. And within 24 hours, you've got an actual real blistery, itchy bug bite. Um... That's because of histamine. Now, a person has a histamine reaction. It, you've heard of antihistamine, like uh, was it Benadryl or something like that that you take if you get stung by a bee and you, you can't get in real quick for an EpiPen or something like that. If you have an allergic reaction, you can take something like that. Um, what histamine does is it, tra is it travels... I'm sorry I had to make a cut. I had a phone call real quick. Um, histamine travels to the site of the bite, and that's what makes you swell. It's a reaction from histamine in your system. Some people get bed bugs, and they'll get bit really bad from bed bugs, but they don't get bug bites. You'll go and you'll, this is what I've done, you'll flip up a mattress, and you'll find bed bugs all over the mattress but the person sleeping on the bed doesn't have any bites why is that well it's not that they don't have any bites it's that their body has not reacted to the bite so not everyone has a reaction to bug bites most people do some people don't so this is why it's important to understand why doctors cannot diagnose bug bites because Everyone reacts differently, just like everyone's going to react to a medication differently. Hopefully, this has helped you understand how bugs work, how bug bites work, and why doctors cannot diagnose bug bites. Y'all have a really great day. I appreciate it, and I will see you on another Myth May episode tomorrow. Bye.